Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How are my adventurers doing? So, first things first, you might notice that my mic sounds a lot different just because I'm just recording this inside of Sony Vegas. So, I was going to be using the default sound effects for my uh, mic. So, yeah, a little bit of the interior stuff is done at the moment. Uh, I will be getting more towards like the end, polishing it. But like I said, every video as of right now, placeholders. Everything is placeholder. I am actually learning Unity right now, which is going to be the final stage of everything. To be honest, I'm calling this more of like the classic version of Monster Girl Utopia until I can figure out like all I need to know about Unity and making a game in it. So I've been studying it just just for when I'm ready to move on to it. But at the moment, um, I've been uploading as aggressively like I wanted to. I have been streaming on Twitch, which might change soon to the point where I might go back to dual streaming. You guys, some well, some of my OGs remember I used to dual stream. I might get rid of my uh, affiliation on Twitch and just go back to dual streaming at the moment. But yeah, uh, as you guys can see, I am just building the rooms and everything. I realized that the game scales a lot higher than I thought. So I end up deleting half of the rooms just to size it down because I'm not thinking about my player size and the map size. But overall, I'm making quite a bit of progress on the Monster Girl designs, which you guys have seen. Tigora, which is going to be our fire starter. And for those of you guys who are in Discord, can see her second form. Uh, her third form and everything will be revealed in a video. Um, so if you guys aren't willing to go into the Discord and see the second form, then it will have a video that'll be coming out towards the end of the month, I believe, or probably next week. I think next week ish, she should be done. So, yeah, I think next video I'm gonna try and do. So, I think next video I'm gonna try and do some more outside stuff, like build trails and stuff like that. I'm going to have to probably get with Yak and probably have to get with Yak and do like some little reforce designs and stuff like that because I just played a few other like RPG Maker games trying to get like a feel for those as well. That's also another reason why I haven't been like uploading too much. I've just been exploring and experimenting with different RPG Maker games. And seeing like what they have and seeing how I can improve towards my map design and this was like eh. I think the first part of this video was like way before I started uh, doing map design so I went back and started deleting stuff I had to make this into like a two-part video just because I had to look around because I wasn't I just didn't feel experienced enough to like, you know, I didn't feel experienced enough to just like fully be confident in like the maps I was building. So when I came back, I, I kind of really enjoyed the maps. That's why I like kind of cut them down and put them into like a, how do I say it? That's why I cut the size down, you know, no big rooms. You don't need big rooms to make a map look big and have all types of extra clutter and stuff like that even though it can be nice if you do it well but i can't do it well yet so i just went back deleted like so much stuff so yeah unity is going to be an easier task towards like furnishing and stuff like that because i want to try and make the controls to be universal not just up down left right you know I want it to be diagonal, you know, just have a, like a controller feel to it. Maybe. I just gotta figure out like what actual art style I want. But for right now, from what I am exploring inside of 
instead of RPG Maker, I'm learning everything that I want for the Unity version. So all the items I put on this map is basically going to be getting somebody to revamp everything, you know, and make that map or make the items for that map so I can use them and, you know, set up something more fancier. Because inside of RPG Maker, I am pretty limited, but in Unity or, hell, in Unity or even, uh, Unreal Engine, I, I kind of want to just, you know, add in a little bit more of an interesting combat that I have an idea of what I want to do. Let's just say that. But it it's going to take a lot of coding and learning. The art and everything is just going to be for Fiverr. I'm going to be learning the coding and everything. So it's going to take quite a while for me to become a master of unity but that's going to be a fun journey about this though so i'm thinking about just scrapping like rpg maker and just heading to unity now and learning it i'm just not too sure yet because i'm actually enjoying working with the people i'm currently working with because i can just move like you know all of this all the music in the Monster Girl Arts over to Unity, but I won't be able to talk to Yak anymore because Yak does... Well, actually, yes, I would because I think I can do this inside of Unity as well. I think I might have an idea of what I want to do. It's just going to take a lot of time. But anyhow, I'm going to be figuring that, that out for the, la for the next like few weeks. But I will start trying to upload a lot more. Be more aggressive towards like, you know, other content than the devlogs. I will try. <laughs> Let's just say I've, I've been distracted with the Grand Fantasia. Most of you guys know that very old game. <laughs> yes, it's still alive. It's been alive for... I think 10 years now because so, they've had a 10 year anniversary apparently <sighs> I mean they're doing something right but anyway uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of this that's pretty much all I had to say I just had a little bit of short things of to announce nothing like too crucial I have to head to bed before uh, <laughs> I gotta go back to work tomorrow tomorrow morning so hopefully you all had a good one. I'm sorry that this wasn't like too detailed today. Just trying to get some stuff out for you guys and, you know, progress on. With that said, incident, peace out.